Now let's write one final function, which will make our shapes larger. We'll call this function increase shape. Here we have our signature, purpose, and header. Now let's write some examples. Here we have two examples showing how increased shape works on boxes and disks. In the box case, both the width and the height get bigger by one. In the disk case, the width gets bigger by one. Now let's fill in our template following the process shape template that we've written already. Again, most of our work is done just because we wrote the template and wrote our examples. In the disk case, we need to construct a new disk with the same color and a bigger width. We'll do that with make disk, and then we'll add one to the existing width. Now we'll do the same thing for boxes, adding one to both the width and the height. Now we can run our program and see if all the tests pass. They do pass, and now we're happy with increased shape. Now I'm going to extend flip shape so that we can use it in our Big Bang program. We'll have it take an additional input, a key event, and still produce a shape. But it won't matter what the key event is, we're just going to ignore that. This will be a very easy change. First, I'll add it to the signature. Next, I'll add it to the header. And now I'll add key events to our examples. Here are two example keys that I could have pressed. Doesn't matter what I choose because we're ignoring the key event, KE. When I run my program, all our tests will still pass. Now let's put everything together to produce a Big Bang function that uses all of the functions we've defined. Here we have flip shape, increase shape, and draw shape BG. We'll put these together to produce a Big Bang animation that uses shape as the world state. We'll start with Big Bang, followed by the initial world, we'll start with box one. Remember, the initial world needs to be whatever the kind of data definition that you've chosen for your world. We can write that down saying what a world is. Now we can write down what should happen each time the clock ticks. We're going to make the shape bigger. We also need to specify how we draw a shape. We're gonna use draw shape BG. We can now run our animation and we see our box getting bigger over time. We can make our animation more interesting by reacting to key events. On every key event, we will flip what kind of shape we have. Now when we run our animation, things will happen when I press the spacebar. As you can see, things flip back and forth between our two kinds of shapes. 